Hi, I'm Josh. In this video, I will show you how to create ingredients, convert units of measurement of an ingredient into stock units, and create a product with ingredients. To start, log into back office. I will first create an ingredient. To do this, open the left navigation menu and select inventory followed by ingredients. Select new on the top left to add a new ingredient. Enter the ingredient name and optionally enter the ingredient's unique barcode. In the UOM or Unit of Measurement field, select the unit that the ingredient will be measured in from the drop down menu. If you would like to track the ingredient in larger units as well, input the number of units of measurement of the ingredient that will be included in each container of the larger unit. The name of the larger unit will be entered in the Stock Unit field. Next, go to the Vendors tab. If the ingredients vendor has not yet been created, select New Vendor to add it. Then select the vendor who supplied the ingredient from the Search Vendors dropdown. Input the item SKU and the cost to acquire the ingredient from the vendor per stock unit. If a stock unit was not entered in the previous tab, enter the cost per unit of measurement. Finally, in the Ordering tab, input the recommended quantity and minimum quantity of the ingredient and units of measurement that you prefer for your store or stores. The total quantity field displays the total quantity of the ingredient and units of measurement currently in stock in all stores combined. Below, you can also specify different quantities for multiple stores. The quantity field displays the quantity of the ingredient and units of measurement currently in stock in each store. When you are done editing the ingredient, select Done. As can be seen, the ingredient appears on the top of the ingredients list. Here, you will find columns displaying whether the ingredient is active, the cost of the ingredient from the vendor, the quantity of the ingredient in units of measurement currently in stock, and the quantity of the ingredient in stock units currently in stock. You can also edit the ingredient's attributes at any time by selecting the Edit icon. To export the ingredient list, select Export. It will be opened in a .csv file. If you would like to import ingredients to the ingredients list, select Import. To delete one or multiple ingredients, select the box next to the ones you would like to delete and then select Delete. I will now show you how to create a product with ingredients. Go to Inventory and then Products in the menu and then select the New Item button. Select the circle next to With Ingredients. Just like for a regular inventory item, we will enter a product name Choose a product display color that will fill up the product box in POS, select the item's department and category, and enter a unique UPC. The pricing tab also works the same as for a regular inventory item. Select whether you would like the item to be at a fixed or manual price. Select the unit the item will be sold by and input a sales price. In the ingredients tab, Select Add Existing to add ingredients to the item that you have previously created in the Ingredients section. If you have not yet created an ingredient, select Create New. Then select the box next to one or more ingredient that you would like to add and select Done. Now enter the quantities of each ingredient per unit of measurement that you would like to make up the item. You can create ingredients to modifiers as well. In the Modifiers tab, after you add a modifier, Simply select Add Ingredient to attach one or multiple ingredients to the modifier. In the Ordering tab, input your quantity preferences for the item. The Total Quantity field displays the total quantity of the item that is currently available, based on how many of its ingredients are in stock at that time. In the Taxes tab, you can add taxes to the item, just as you would for a regular inventory item. When you are done editing the item, select Done. As is seen here, the product has been added to the product list. Thank you for participating in this video. To learn more, please view our other videos, visit our website for in-depth usage instructions, or call or email us from the contact information below.